Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. So as you can tell from the title, today I'm going to be doing a makeup review. So I am going to be trying the new L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Bronzer. I got two different shades. I got 500, which is dark, and I got 550, which is deep dark. So this is how um, 550 deep dark looks like i haven't swatched them or anything because i wanted to show them to you guys and then this is how 500 dark looks like so this is how both of them look like and you know to me i feel as if 500 dark is a little light but you know we'll see how she's hitting for on the face but to me she's a little light okay and um 550 is definitely you know a deeper shade and they also have um a mirror in the back but there's no sponge it's just a mirror so it's basically just like their other um the packaging is the same as their other products this one i did do a video on it this is the infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation and a powder and then i also have the infallible pro matte 16 hour powder itself so it's basically the same packaging the only difference is that the um actual foundation powders it does come with the low um sponge in the back of it you know just for convenience if you want to take your item with you and this one yeah i probably can't see it but the sponge is back there <laughs> let me see if i could yeah the sponge is back here i've never used them but it's good to have them just in case you have like a small bag you know you have them with you so you don't have to take like um a little brush or anything like that but these they just have the um mirror but no sponge in the back which makes sense because it's like their bronzers but i mean the sponge would still be okay just in case you know you get oily and you want to um you know just use the sponge itself to just like soak up the oil but anywho <laughs> that's the packaging for both of these and then i'm just gonna read to you guys a little little details i did purchase mine from alta they were 15.99 and in my opinion i feel as if that's a little steep for drugstore you know and that's saying a lot you know like especially if you shop on you know sephora or if you shop all to the high-end section but still you know when it comes to drugstore you're expecting you know the price to be like i mean 59 is still reasonable you know like it's affordable but it's like like i feel as if like the drugstore is just going up and up and up but yeah so the details for these bronzers it says demand more from long wear with the l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear soft matte bronzer this natural looking powder bronzer comes in a diverse range of shades and gives buildable coverage in a soft matte finish benefits give skin bronze sun sun kissed dimension heat proof waterproof sweat proof and transfer proof lightweight and natural looking for up to 24 hour wear now i'm not going to test it for 24 hour and unfortunately, I'm, you know, since I'm not going to test it for 24 hours, I'm not really going to be able to tell if it's heat proof. I don't really like go swimming or anything like that with my um, makeup. So I really can't tell if any makeup is waterproof because that's just not me. Um, sweat proof or transfer proof. Again, I'm not going to have this on for a long period of time. I'm just doing another video after this. So, yeah. But I just wanted to come and just show you guys how they look. Um, I wanted to try these out to see, you know, how they're looking like. So, I am going, since I have two different bronzers, I am going to be trying one on this side of my face and then the other one on the other side of my face just so you guys could see how they look like by themselves just in case you're not sure of which shade you wanted to get and you didn't want to like get both like me and then after that i'll just blend um them together um they have eight shades i don't think i mentioned they have eight shades and again i got the two deepest shades and to me this one again but we'll see you know we'll see we'll see so I'm gonna start with 500 dark and I'm gonna put it on this side of my face. So let's see. Okay, I see it. Okay, I see it. Okay, yeah, I definitely see it. That's what, that's what I wanted. I didn't wanna talk too much about it because I'm like maybe it'll show more on the face even though it look pretty light in the pan but i do see it okay so this is how 500 dark is looking like 
and I know some people prefer bronzers that don't have a lot of warmth to it and I feel as if in my opinion from what I'm seeing this doesn't have a lot of warmth to it you know it's not super red and I know a lot of people prefer that me I don't really mind a bronzer that is you know that has a lot of red and that's really warm as long as I go with a light hand I don't mind that so this one to me I feel as if I don't know, I feel as if it's kind of cool tone. Like, it's not giving me contour, but I feel as if it's kind of like neutral and cool. But yeah, so this is how it's looking like. No bronzer, bronzer. And I will fix it just in case it's a little bit too much. We'll fix it later. And then I'm going to go with 550 Deep Dark. And this one, I'm going to go really light because I thought 500 um, Dark wasn't gonna be showing that much, and she did. Okay, so this is how 550 is looking like. Definitely see a difference between the two. Again, 500, 550. I'm gonna mix them up, but before I do, let me just show you guys again. Okay, you guys, I am done, and this is how the face is looking like. Now, before I applied the lip mascara setting spray blush highlighter, I really wasn't sure <laughs> what these bronzers were giving. Um, because again, as I mentioned, I feel as if they are cool tone neutral. I'm not a makeup artist, but that's what I see from the ones I have. And again, as I mentioned, I prefer my bronzers to have that warmth. I know a lot of people don't because they don't really like all that red. I don't mind it. I just go with the light hand. Um, I prefer the bronze than contour because I like the warmth it brings back to my face. So when I was just applying these, I wasn't sure what was going on because I really wasn't feeling the look by itself. But after I applied everything else, I like it more. Um, I'm definitely gonna use these some more. Um, deep dark, I'm definitely gonna use it with some of my other bronzers that are a little bit tad bit too light. That's not really giving me what I want. I'm gonna mix it with that. And I think dark, um, I think I could use it by itself. And again, as I mentioned, when I'm done with my face, it'll come together. Um, that's the same shades that are on my eyelids, just in case anyone is wondering. Usually when I just have my face, you know, just natural plain, it's usually the same um, bronzer shade that's on my eyelid, just in case anyone is wondering. Um, let me know your thoughts, opinion on these two products right here, um, which one you like more, if you are going to purchase any of them. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. I like the face with everything together, but when it was just the bronzers, uh, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure, because, but again, that's just a preference because I prefer the warmth, you know? But yeah, so that's it. That's all I have to say, you guys. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching another one. You guys know I definitely appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.